Hello, it's me, Joy. Welcome to Reading with Joy, where you get to read with joy, because that's me, that's my name. And we all get to read with joy, because we love reading stories with silly faces and silly voices too, quite often. And today, we're going to read Elma on Stilts. It's by David McKee. Do you know, I'm sure you know Elma the elephant, don't you? But how do you know Elma on Stilts? Let's get started. One morning, Elma the patchwork elephant met some of his friends. Oh dear, Elma, they said, those awful elephant hunters are coming. What can we do to escape them? Hmm, said Elma. Let me have a think. I'm sure I can come up with something. Elma went for a thinking walk. He was thinking about how hunters look for elephant footprints and follow them until they find the elephants, when suddenly a voice said, Look out, Elma, what, watch where you're going! A very tall giraffe was speaking to him. Oh, sorry, said Elma. I didn't see you up there, but you've just given me a very good idea. And he hurried off to find the other elephants. I've an idea, said Elma to the others. Let's walk around on stilts. Oh, this is no time for jokes, Elma, said an elephant. The hunters are coming. I'm serious, said Elma. Hunters look for us by following our footprints. They'd never look up and see us. The elephants thought that Elma's idea was a good one and they were soon hard at work. Some made stilts from very strong wood. Other elephants bought tree trunks and made a ramp that the elephants could walk up and get onto the stilts. Elma went first. He walked up the ramp and using his front legs to hold on, he put his back legs onto the stilts. It's easy, he called. My trunk helps me to keep balance. But unfortunately, because Elma was so heavy, the stilts immediately sank into the ground. Oh no, groaned the elephant, it won't work. Oh, I know, said Elma. I know, said Elma. If we put flat pieces of wood on the bottom of the poles, the stilts won't sink into the ground. Then, if we colour the stilts green, continued Elma, the hunters will think that they're plants. We can shape the flat bits like monsters' feet. And if we put them on backwards, as we walk, it will look like we're a monster's trail. But... We're going in the opposite direction. The hunters will follow the footprints away from us to try and find the monsters. It wasn't long before the elephants were walking on stilts, leaving a trail of prints pointing away from them. The more the hunters look, the further they will get away from us, chuckled Elma. <laughs> there was one thing, however, that Elma had forgotten. Elephant hunters are cowards. When they saw the footprints, the hunters all said the same thing. Oh no! Monsters! Then shaking with fear, they hurried off in the opposite direction, towards the elephants and... <gasps> crash! They didn't notice the stilts and they bumped right into them. The elephants fell off, but instead of falling onto the hard ground, they fell on the soft, round, fat hunters. <gasps> one by one, Elmer and the elephants got up and walked away. Oh dear, oh dear, they said. It was a long time before the hunters managed to crawl away, moaning. <gasps> they would never come back. Hurrah for Elmer, shouted the elephants. His idea saved us. Now we don't need stilts anymore. We don't need them, but we could have some fun on them. And that's exactly what they did. <laughs> elephants on stilts. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Or patchwork elephants. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Fantastic to see you. And I do hope that I will see you soon in the next video. Until then... Don't forget to look up high to make sure there are no elephants walking past. <laughs> See ya. <gasps>